everyone. So first off, happy Easter if you celebrate. If not, I still hope you have a fabulous Sunday. So I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. I've been tweeting you guys. I haven't been able to sleep. I woke up on my own without any sort of alarm clock or anything like that. And I think the reason why is because this is the first holiday that I'm spending where I'm not with my parents. And the first Easter in the past eight years that I'm spending that I'm not with my little sister. I'm in L.A. with my sister Elle, my older sister, obviously. Um, and then my little sister and my mom and dad are back in Tennessee where they live. I was kind of okay with it. I was like, you know, Easter is such a good time to be around your, you know, family and your loved ones and stuff, but I'm going home for prom on April 30th, which is just like in a couple days. I'm actually flying home on Thursday, and then prom the movie comes out on Friday, so I'm going to take my little sister to see it opening night, and then um, that Saturday, April 30th, I'm going to prom at the high school that it would be my prom if I had stayed in like traditional high school, but I became homeschooled for the last two years of high school, but this like would be technically my senior prom. Anyway, so I'm going home, so it didn't really make sense for me to fly home and then fly back for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then fly back again. So, um, I, I thought I was kind of going to be okay with it. And then I guess I can't sleep. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm not with my family and it's a holiday. So I kind of miss them. And, um, I, my mom told me that my little sister asked if I was going to be there to do the Easter egg hunt and look for our baskets that like the Easter bunny brought and stuff. And mom had to tell her no, that I wasn't going to be home yet. And that's hard for me to hear because I almost feel a little bit guilty for it. I kind of feel like I should be there for her. But at the same thing, at the same time, I think she's old enough to kind of understand that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I've been up. It's only eight o'clock right now, which seems crazy to be like up with my hair curled and completely ready. But I'm going to lunch today or like Easter brunch, I guess it is. But it's at like 12 o'clock, which I feel like that would technically be like Easter lunch because like isn't brunch if it's like at 10 or something anyways I'm going to Easter brunch but it's at noon and um, so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and then I was like I'm gonna film a vlog video and then I was like no you shouldn't film a vlog video sorry I've had a lot of coffee already um, and then I was like no you shouldn't film a vlog video because you put up a video yesterday on your main channel and at the like this morning when I was getting ready and I was thinking about it I was like no you can't do another video like you just put one up you don't put videos up back to back days and then I was like who says I can't you know I used to do that all the time it used to be completely normal for me to put up a video every single day and then somewhere along the line I just kind of stopped and then if I wanted to do one and I had done one the day before I was like no you know you just did one you're fine but then I wanted to do a vlog today and I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Easter because basically I'm all ready and I can't sleep and I was like why don't you just film a vlog and then I was like no and then I was like yes you can film a vlog if you want to film a vlog so um I've had breakfast I've you know taken a shower I've gotten ready I've curled my hair and now I'm filming this video and then okay so I got Elle since we're not like with our family and we're not doing the whole Easter basket thing with them I got her an Easter basket and I want to show it to you guys and she's actually still asleep right now so that kind of works out well for us because I can like film this video and she's not going to be able to hear me tell like what's in her Easter basket and then I'm going to go hide it and I'm trying to decide because I want to hide it somewhere like she doesn't even know I got her a basket at all she does she has no idea and I want to hide it somewhere that it's going to take her a really long time to um, find but I don't know if I should hide it like in our actual apartment because like our apartment complex we have like a workout room and we have like locker rooms for the workout room we have like a pool area and stuff so I'm wondering if I should hide it in one of those places but then I'm scared that someone else will find it before she gets around to finding it and I don't really want someone to take her Easter basket you know which I don't think anyone would take it on purpose I think they like because I feel like a lot of people might hide their Easter baskets like by the pool or something and make their you know family go find it and stuff and what happens if someone sees the basket and they're like oh I found my basket they take it back to their family and they're like look found the basket and they're like that's not your basket um anyways but I want to show you guys what I got her because I was really excited so yeah I just wanted to do this vlog today I hope you guys are fine with me putting up videos like back to back I mean I don't see a problem in that at all and I was in the mood to film and I was like you know what I don't think they're gonna mind one bit so this is Elle's Easter basket it looks like this. Isn't it so, so adorable? Okay, so I was walking around the Grove and I saw this place called C's Candy, like S-E-E's Candy. And I was like, oh, I want to go in there and like see some candy, you know, because it's like see, like see, like your eyeballs are seeing the candy. So I walked in there and they had these Easter baskets. And I was like, you know what? Elle and I like aren't getting Easter baskets this year from our family and stuff. So I should get her an Easter basket and stuff like that. And um, they had this one like pre-made or whatever. And I got it, except this didn't come in it. So I'm going to show you guys what's in Elle's Easter basket because I'm so proud of myself because like you could get the basket and then you could fill it up with like whatever you wanted. And I thought that this made like a cute little arrangement for her to find um okay and I mean who doesn't like chocolate on Easter that's like 
you know, that's delicious. Okay, so the first thing is wrapped in the cutest little Easter bunny paper. Isn't that so cute? Look, it's a bunny. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, anyways, and this just says assorted chocolates. So I assumed that it would be like, you know, I don't know, some good chocolate that she's probably going to enjoy. And then I got her favorite thing, which are truffles. So she absolutely adores truffles. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a truffle thing in there. And then I got her assorted chocolate eggs that look like this. And they are like just chocolate shaped like eggs, I guess. And then they had giant chocolate eggs. So I thought they were cute on both sides. Sorry, my phone just went off. It's probably an Easter text. Um, so chocolate butter, chocolate butter, yeah, chocolate butter and peanut butter. So um, these are like giant eggs, but I thought it looked cute in the basket. And then I got her some chocolate foil eggs. I just got her a lot of chocolate. That's pretty much all they had in the store. Like they had this for like Easter. They pretty much just had chocolate. And then they had some other candy that like wasn't chocolate, but it wasn't very Eastery. And I really just wanted the theme to be Easter, obviously. And then I got her a little chocolate bunny that, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. A little chocolate bunny. And it had a ribbon around. And I was like, it looks like a collar. And that's really pretty, except you can't eat the ribbon, obviously, or the foil. Um, but okay, do you guys remember that song, The Bunny, The Bunny? Oh, I I ate the bunny. I didn't eat the soup or the salad, just the bunny. Okay, so we used to sing that um, in, I think I told you in sixth grade, I, I like went to a camp with my school or something, and I might have even talked about the chocolate bunny song in that video, in the throughout the year sixth grade video or whatever. Um, but it was this song that we were like all singing around the campfire, and it was the bunny, the bunny, I, um, I didn't eat my soup or my salad, just the bunny. And it was a song talking about how like you skip your soup and your salad and you save all the room for your bunny. And I got kind of sad because I was like, I don't eat like bunny bunny. You know, like I eat meat. I'm not a vegetarian, but I was like, I've never had bunny before. Like I eat my soup and my salad. They were talking about chocolate bunnies. It took me like a year to figure that out. I literally think I was in seventh grade when someone was like, oh yeah, remember? And you know, like a year ago and we were all singing that song. And I was like, that song made me really sad. And they were like, it's about chocolate bunnies. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, I got her a chocolate bunny so she could, you know, skip her soup and her salad today. And then I went to CVS. Yeah, so this is what, like, it looked like. It was like this. Do, 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 do. And then I went to CVS and I saw this and I had to get it for her. Okay, so it's a light up Easter candy fan. And in here is a uh, candy. I don't even know what kind of candy's inside. Like, you can't see it or anything, but this is the best part. <laughs> Isn't that so exciting? Um, Elle and I, like, we like to go to the pool and stuff. It gets really hot. And we were talking the other day about how we wanted a fan to kind of just, like, be able to cool ourselves down. And I saw this one. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that, and I'm going to stick it in our Easter basket. And it fits perfectly, like, right here in the middle. So I am going to have to hide this before she gets up, obviously. So I'm trying to decide. There are a couple different places I can hide it. And leave it in the comments below if you're watching this video right when I upload it, because I might not have hit it yet. Um, but if the video has been up for a while, then obviously Elle already has her Easter basket but if you're one of the first people watching here are the options I can hide it in like the credenza which is like our um you guys know what a credenza is it's like a desk but it's like not a desk I don't know it's like a side a really big like table that's like under our window anyways there's a credenza I can hide it in or I'm trying to figure out like we don't have a laundry room we just have like a laundry closet that has our washer and our dryer in it and I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I could get it in there and what if I put it like in the dryer and then put like a towel over it so that she opens the dryer, it looks like just a bunch of like messed up towels and then she'll never find it. Okay, I could do it there or I could do it out on the porch somewhere. I don't know, I can't decide. Or I could hide it like around like the apartment building. Like I could hide it like right outside the front door or something. She would never like open the front door to check. Or I could hide it in my bedroom. <gasps> I could hide it in Teddy's pink crate right there. Well, you guys can't really see it, but there's like a pink crate right there. I could hide it in that. Like, because why is she going to look in the dog's crate? You know what I mean? Anyways, so I can't decide. But I thought that that was such a cute little Easter basket. And then I thought the basket was cute because I thought that she could put, like, her lush bath bombs and stuff like that in it. And it would be really pretty in her bathroom. So I got that. And um, I wanted to film this video. And I was thinking, what can I film? Because I'm just, you know, hyper. And I have, you know, I'm waiting to go to lunch and stuff. And I was like, you know what? You're going to show them what you got your sister. But now... When I was at CVS and I was getting her little spinny thing and I was um, I was getting a couple beauty products and stuff, I came across something that I had to get myself for Easter. And I know that like you're not technically, or I guess you can get yourself things for holidays. I get myself something for every holiday. It's always something small. But like I got myself something for Christmas and for my birthday and stuff. Like for my birthday, I went to go get a mani-pedi, but I didn't really need one. Like it wasn't a big event or anything that I was like having to get them done for. I just like treated myself to a mani-pedi. So it's not like a big present I get myself, but I try to let 
let myself get something. Well, I was at CVS. Sorry, we just got like very up close and personal. I was at CVS and I saw this and I thought to myself, you know what? You need that. You just, you get it, girl. So look how cute it is. It's a duck and it's wearing a bathrobe because like, you know how rubber duckies are made for the tub and like um, ducks, they like swim in the pond and stuff. So like when they get out of the pond, they shake off and then they put a bathrobe on. Well, they don't really, but I think that's how it should be. Anyways, the bathrobe and also my monkey that's on my bed is typically wearing a bathrobe. So I thought that this would be cute on like the other side of the pillow and they'd both be wearing bathrobes, but actually, okay, this is really weird, but I wash my sheets on my bed a lot. I'm kind of like a freak about making sure I just, I like to climb into my bed and feel like everything's very clean and crisp and stuff. And I realized that I cuddle with that monkey like this every single night. And um, I have for like a year or something. Yes, I'm totally like a little kid. I just, I, I still sleep with a stuffed animal. But I cuddle with that monkey and it's always wearing this big bathrobe. And I thought to myself and I'm like, you have been sleeping with this every single night for the past year. And it's probably like, you wash your sheets so much, but you like don't wash that. So I actually threw the, um, his bathrobe in her, whatever that monkey is. I don't really know it's gender, but I'm assuming it's a her because it's wearing a pink shirt. Anyways, I threw her bathrobe in with, um, like a white load of mine or whatever. So she's not wearing her bathrobe, which right now, which kind of defeats the purpose of this one being so cute with a bathrobe because they'd both be like in bathrobes, like ready to get in bed with their mom. Um, anyways, but I thought this was cute. And also what like really made me want to get it was it's save our earth now earth right fiber. And it says, um, our environmental advantage. This product is filled with earth right fiber that is created from the conversion of plastic bottles into new polyester fiber. So I kind of feel like I'm saving the world, um, with a really cute, duck that's not a rubber ducky. I was about to say with a really cute rubber ducky, but this isn't rubber. Oh, another thing is its eyes are lopsided. Can you guys tell on camera? I'm holding it completely straight. Do you see that? That eye is a lot lower and I almost put it back. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I had something in my um, throat. I almost put it back when I picked this one up because there were like a hundred of them at CVS and I almost put it back and then I was like, no, I want the lopsided eye one. So I got that. Um, but yeah, I was just really excited to um, show you guys that. And this is my little Easter present to myself. And Teddy really likes it too. Teddy's already been like snuggling up to it because that little monkey is Teddy's like BFF Jill. And now um, this is going to be Teddy's new BFF. Um, anyways, and then I know that this video is kind of getting long now, which I thought this was just going to be a really quick happy um, Easter vlog. And I was just going to edit it in like a second and post it to my channel and then go to lunch. But um, I have a while so I guess I can just edit this and still post it and then go to lunch so I guess it doesn't matter how long this is if you guys are still watching hey thanks for making it this far into my video um really fast I just wanted to um let you guys know that I've been working on my throughout the years 10th grade video and I spaced out my throughout the years videos so far so that it would make sense when I took a long time from 9th grade to 10th grade of why I was taking so long to get it up I filmed the throughout the years 10th grade video twice already. I'll give you guys a little clip right now. Hey everyone, so today it's time for a throughout the years 10th grade video. But yeah, so I filmed that video twice and both times I've completely edited it. It's like a 20 minute video both times. I can't get it down any further. 10th grade is the year that I started my YouTube channel. My life changed forever that year. Before that, I thought I was going to be an eighth grade English teacher or a prenatal surgeon. Those were the two things that like my life was set to be. That's what I was going to do with my life. And in 10th grade, I basically decided that I wanted to be in the beauty and fashion world. And I'm, I still don't know, you know, where my life is going to take me from this, but it's definitely not the prenatal surgeon, eighth grade English teacher route. Um, so anyways, 10th grade started my YouTube videos. Um, amazing, amazing year for me. There are also things in 10th grade that I've never talked to you guys about, and I thought I would be ready to kind of um, share them with you, but I've edited the video twice, and um, the first time I filmed it and edited it, I already had it like halfway uploaded, and then I chickened out and I took it down, and then I refilmed it, and I thought I had like made it to where I was okay with it, and then I edited it, and then I didn't end up putting it up, because there are just some really personal things that happened in my life that year that you guys really got me through that I haven't talked to you about, and um, I... I thought I was ready to express them. Basically, I'm telling you that I filmed the video twice. I'm not forgetting about it or anything like that, but I just need a little bit more time to be um, kind of ready to tell my story, I guess. But yeah, I haven't forgotten about my throughout the years 10th grade video. It's just a really, really hard year for me to go back and look on. It was the best year of my life, and it was also 
quite possibly um, not the best year of my life. Uh, the Obviously, the toughest year of my life was sixth grade. If you watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but 10th grade was definitely the second most toughest year of my life. So happy Easter to you guys. If you are celebrating it today, I hope you spend it with your family and your loved ones. And I hope you find a little way to make today happy for you. You know, my little ducky is making today happy for me. And I'm going to Easter brunch which or lunch or whatever we decided it was, which is making me happy. And I'm excited to hide Elle's Easter basket and then watch her like try to find it. And then when she finally finds it, I hope, you know, that's the way that I'm kind of making myself happy today. So spend today kind of you know, do something that makes you happy. Spend it with your family, spend it with the people that you love. And um, if you don't celebrate Easter, then I still hope that you guys have an absolutely, absolutely fabulous Sunday. And uh, yeah, two videos on back-to-back -back days. I haven't done that in so long and I'm kind of really excited to go edit this video and put it up. So you guys are gonna be watching it in like a couple minutes, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go edit this and I'm gonna upload it and then I'm gonna go to brunch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later, bye.